Okay, so there aren't any clear cut um, criteria for a distinction per se between radio waves and microwaves. But normally, electromagnetic waves ranging from frequencies um, 3 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz fall under radio waves. Great, but <clears throat> uh, rather than the frequency of the waves, uh, the behavior of the waves is a better criteria for classification. Now, radio waves, for most part, they're omnidirectional. That means radio waves can traverse in all directions. They are propagated in every possible direction. Right, so radio waves are omnidirectional. So when an antenna propagates radio waves, they're basically propagated in all direction and the receiving antenna can be anywhere. And if it's getting the radio wave, it can receive the wave, right? But this omnidirectional property of radio waves is advantageous in the sense that uh, the sending antenna and the receiving antenna can be anywhere. They don't necessarily have to be aligned uh, for the sending and receiving purpose. But however, when uh, you're transmitting signals everywhere, so uh, the signals transmitted by one antenna can serve as an interference by another antenna that is sending the signals using the same frequency. So that is one of the uh, disadvantage of the omnidirectional property that it may cause interference. Now here is just an example of an omnidirectional antenna. So you have an antenna and it's um, propagating the radio waves in all directions. So radio waves normally use an omnidirectional antenna. Right. So another thing is since basically radio waves can be propagated in all directions. They're normally used for multicasting or broadcasting, right? So you basically broadcast a signal everywhere and any device that can receive the signal kind of receives it. Examples of this can be normal radio that we listen to. So AM and FM radio, so radio station, they uh, broadcast the radio signals and anyone with the receiving device can actually hear it, right? And also paging and uh, cordless phones, these are uh, examples of multicasting communication and they take help of radio waves to do so. Right. So microwaves normally range from frequencies between 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz in the electromagnetic spectrum. Now normally microwave propagation is line of sight, so the sending and the receiving antenna, they have to be aligned, they have to be in each other's line of sight. Now, normally radio waves, since they're of lower frequencies, they can penetrate walls. But since microwaves are high frequency waves and they cannot penetrate walls, and the band is relatively wild for a microwave. So normally radio waves are used for multicast communication. I just talked about this a while back. Now, um, sorry, uh, radio waves use, are used for multicast communication. Um, Microwaves normally use unidirectional antennas uh, as opposed to radio waves uh, that was using omnidirectional antennas. Now, you basically have two different types of antennas that are used by microwave. One of them is dish antenna, another one is horn antenna. So the dish antenna, it kind of takes the geometric shape of a parabola, right? And the horn antenna kind of looks like a cone. So these are basically used for um, unicast communication in one-on-one -on -one communication. So in order to use this antenna, the sending antenna and the receiving antenna, they must be aligned, they must be faced towards each other. Right, so microwaves are normally used for unicast communication, like cellular telephone, satellite networks, or wireless LANs. The third type of waves we looked into was infrared, and infrared kind of range from frequencies higher than microwaves. 
So normally frequencies from 300 gigahertz to 400 terahertz are the frequency waves for infrared. And they are normally used for short range communication. Um, now infrared waves, since they have such a high frequency, so obviously they cannot penetrate walls. So um, you guys already know that infrared rays are basically used in remote controls, right? So let's say you're using a TV. So normally if you're in the next room, you cannot access the TV or you're trying to access, uh, let's say your air conditioner or anything that requires a remote control signal. And normally if you move in the next door, so you will never be able to access it, right? Because this infrared, uh, infrared, uh, waves that are used by these remotes, they cannot really penetrate through walls. So they are, they are normally used for very short range communication. And guys, so um, that was basically it for uh, transmission media. I'll be um, Starting with um, switching sometimes, sometime um, tomorrow or so. So please keep an eye out for that.